Well, as we start to see a light at the end of the tunnel, many are beginning to plan their first trip overseas post COVID. Colin Piper, the CEO and Director of Tourism at Discover Dominica Authority, has some ideas for our first big getaway. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Morning, Bob. How are you? Good. So Dominica, not to be confused with the Dominican Republic, is a beautiful slice of the Caribbean. Tell us um, exactly where it is. Dominica is uh, one island north of Martinique and um, one island south of uh, Guadeloupe. Those are the French overseas departments in the Caribbean. Okay. Um, I uh, read that it's great uh, whale watching territory. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, we have uh, um, species of whales that are resident here just off our coast. And so that makes it uh, pretty good for sightings. Um, we boast, you know, 85 to 90 percent sightings um, when you come to That's Dominica. pretty good. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So definitely yeah. one of a kind. Yeah. What are some of the features of the island, uh, of the island rather, and, and uh, what can uh, travelers enjoy there? Well, it's uh, an adventure traveler's paradise. Uh, we are saying that in these COVID times, it's the perfect antidote to release all your stress that has been built up. So whether you're a single coming for, um, you know, adventure travel or you're a couple coming for some uh, romantic getaways or even a family uh, coming in, there's uh, over 300 miles of hiking trails, there's uh, snorkeling, there's scuba diving, there's festivals and cultural events. So all these wonderful things that, uh, you, that you can do either as a lone adventure or as a couple or even as a family coming uh, and wanting to, to spend some quality time together. Looks absolutely stunning. By the way, how has the island done during the pandemic? And uh, what are the safety protocols in place? So we've done extremely well, uh, if I uh, may say so. Uh, we have, um, I think, about uh, seven active cases now, uh, maybe a total of 180 something since, uh, you know, uh, this started last um, February, March. Uh, and so we've done an extremely uh, a good job uh, led by our health teams. Uh, one of the things that travelers can be sure about is that uh, we have a program called Safe in Nature. And that's where we allow you to have managed experiences uh, in a bubble uh, during your quarantine period. So health and safety is of paramount importance for you uh, uh, and for the locals. And so the Safe in Nature uh, program is something that we definitely are proud about. In addition to that, we also have received the uh, the, the travel stamp from the uh, WTTC, the World Travel and Tourism Council. So that's something that would indicate to you as a traveler that uh, we've dotted our I's, crossed our T's um, in terms of making sure that you're safe uh, when you come here, but also through the managed experience, we uh, we we can af we afford you the opportunity to go explore and do all the wonderful things, um, whether it's waterfalls, whether it's scuba diving, uh, whether it's uh, hiking on some of our trails or even whale watching. Oh, how many Canadians invade you uh, prior to the <laughs> pandemic? Uh, what's the uh, demographics and, and, and who's uh, traveling to Dominica? Well, we, we want more Canadians to come. We want more Canadians to come. We have about three, somewhere about 3,000 that come. But uh, we love Canadians uh, because we believe that what we have to offer resonates with them in terms of not only sun, sand and sea, but rainforest. Uh, and so that's a critical thing. Um, you know, you see some images there of uh, canyoning and the like. So we know that Canadians are active people and we believe that uh, what we have to offer in terms of the hiking, the diving, the snorkeling, you know, um, you know, resonates with them. And of course, you can do that during the day. Um, if you wish to, um, you know, uh, uh, go l luxury in terms of where you lay your head down, those options are available as well. So just a, a wonderful vacation here in Dominica, um, allowing you um, to spend quality time with your, uh, with your travel partners. Okay, we only have seconds left, but uh, when uh, we can resume overseas travel, easy to get to? Uh, one stop typically, um, probably for you through Antigua or Barbados, uh, mm -hmm. and then take a regional carrier over. Okay, well, we're going to link up the uh, Dominica uh, Travel uh, Tourism website and more Excellent. information so we can uh, sample some paradise. Thanks for sharing with us, Colin.